This is going to be a new tutorial for the online dispatch and dues payment system for IBW Local 112. The original tutorial was recorded using a desktop computer, but most of us are in the field and on our phones, and I think there has been some confusion about how to navigate the mobile website. There are two different ways that you can access the mobile website. Directly through your browser at ibwlu112.com and navigating to our jobs listing page and clicking on the online dispatch and dues payment website. It is also linked under membership resources as well. The common mistake people make when trying to access the online dispatch and dues payment website is that they're trying to log into the wrong website. If you go to our main website and click on the login button, that will not take you to the online dispatch and dues payment. That login is for accessing some parts of our main website and signing up for text message alerts, which you should totally do. But when you do, make sure that you select the SMS option for your carrier so the text messages are formatted correctly. There's also an app that you can download from your phone's app store called Labor Power Mobile. The app looks just like the mobile website, but it will store your login information. After you've downloaded the app, open it up and click on Add Account. Select your union, in our case, International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers. Then select Local 112. Under Application Type, select Membership Services. And then enter your username and password. Remember that you can use either your card number or your email address for the username and your initial password will be your last name and the last four digits of your social security number. And then hit test connection. Once the connection is successful, click OK and then hit save settings. You then click on IBW 112 membership services to log in. Once you're logged in, it will bring you to your personal information. I think this is where there seems to be some confusion. I believe that many people are hitting the save button at the bottom of the screen and expecting it to bring up a menu of some sort, when in reality, the menu is the three bars at the top left corner of the screen. Clicking on that will bring up the menu. From here, you can modify your personal information, change your password, or change your email. On the jobs available page, you can see the jobs that we have for dispatch. After 5 p.m., bidding will be open and there will be a drop down menu next to each call for which you are signed on to that call's books. You can then list your preferences and click Submit Bids at the bottom of the page. After you click Submit Bids, you will get an email confirming your bids. You can change your bids at any time up to 8 a.m., the day of dispatch. At 10 a.m., Dispatch should be done and any jobs that went unfilled through dispatch will be displayed. Any unfilled calls displayed are for information only and you must be at the hall to take those. Unfilled calls will be filled on a first come first serve basis. Next you can see your job history and the out of work list. If you navigate to the book you're on you'll see that you are highlighted in red and it will show your bid number, your available position number on the current book, if you have any strikes, and the zones that you're signed up for. On the Hall Hiring Archive page, you can see the calls that have been filled over the last 30 days. They are separated by classification and book number and display the bid numbers that were dispatched to that particular call. Under Announcements, you can see our referral procedure and read through that and download that. It's also available on our main website. By clicking on the Manage link under the Registration category, you have the ability to remove yourself from our books if Local 112 isn't your home local and you got a job in another jurisdiction. On the Registration Info page, you can confirm your spot on the book, see what your current bid number is on the book that you were signed up on, see the date you signed, and the deadline for your next confirmation period. When you click on the Confirm button, you will get an email confirming that you confirmed, and it will also advance your confirmation period to the next month. For Local 112 members, you will have the option to pay your monthly dues online. To do so, navigate to the Pay Dues Online page. 
This page will show you what month you are paid through and allow you to select a month that you would like to pay through. If you are three months in the arrears, you will need to call the hall and pay over the phone to take care of the reinstatement fee before you can use the online system again. If you have any questions with the online dispatch and dues payment system, don't hesitate to give us a call and we will help you through the process.